Reactive dye and its application. Reactive dye is the dye which contains reactive group and this reactive group makes covalent bond with the fiber and acts as an integral part of the fiber is called reactive dye. Reactive dyes are so called because this is the only type of dye which has reactive group and that reactive group reacts chemically with fiber polymer molecule and forms covalent bond. This covalent bond is formed between the reactive group and terminal amino NH2 group of polyamide and wool fiber or between reactive group and terminal hydroxyl OH group of cellulosic fiber polymer. The strength of this covalent bond is more than the ionic bond, hydrogen bond and van der Waals force of attraction. Thus, the reactive group becomes an integral part of the fiber. For these reasons the dyes are so called. Properties of reactive dyes. Reactive dyes are anionic dyes which can be used for dyeing of cellulosic, cotton, rayon, flax, protein, wool, silk, and polyamide, nylon, fibers. Reactive dyes are soluble in water. Reactive dyes are comparatively cheap. Fixation of reactive dyes occurs in alkaline condition. During dyeing the reactive group of this dye forms strong covalent bond with the fiber polymer and becomes an integral part of fiber. Light fastness 6 wash fastness 4 to 5 less time and temperature required. Reasons for popularity of reactive dyes. The reactive dyes show good washing fastness properly. The dyes have good light fastness property. Dyes are cheap in price. The dyes give brighter shades. The dyeing method is very simple. Less time and less temperature dyeing. Structure of reactive dye. General structure of reactive dye. W, D, B, I, E, W, water solubilizing group. D, dye part. B, bridging part. I, reactive group. X, leaving group. This is general structure. Classification of reactive dyes on the basis of reactive group present in dye structure. 1. Halogen derivatives of nitrogen containing heterocyclic triazine dyes, pyrimidine dyes, quinoxaline dyes. 2. Activated vinyl compounds, vinyl sulfone, vinyl acrylamide, vinyl sulfonamide. On the basis of reactivity, three types. A. Lower reactive dyes. Reactivity, very low pH 12 to 12.5 chemical used in dye bath NaOH. B. Medium reactive dyes. Reactivity, medium pH 11 to 12 chemical used in dye bath sodium carbonate. C. Higher reactive dyes. Reactivity, high pH, 9-11 chemical used in dye bath, sodium hydrogen carbonate. On the basis of dyeing, temperature and method, three types. 1. Cold brand, reactivity, high reactive. Temperature, 32 to 60 degrees Celsius. 2. Medium brand, reactivity, moderate reactive. Temperature, 60 to 71 degrees Celsius. 3. Hot brand, reactivity, least reactive. Temperature, 72 to 93 degrees Celsius. Mechanism of dyeing of textile fibers with reactive dyes. When fiber is immersed into dye liquor, an electrolyte is added to assist the exhaustion of dye. Usually, sodium chloride or sodium sulfate is used as an electrolyte. This electrolyte neutralizes the negative charge formed on fiber surface and puts extra energy to increase dye absorption. After the exhaustion process, fixation of dye occurs due to formation of covalent bond between the reactive group and terminal amino NH2 group of polyamide and wool fiber or between reactive group and terminal hydroxyl O group of cellulosic fiber polymer. This is an important phase which is controlled by maintaining proper pH by adding alkali. We see that mechanism of dyeing structure. 
assistants used for dyeing with reactor dye, salts, to increase affinity of the dye to fiber, to decrease the hydrolyzed of the dye, to add extra energy to push the dye in the fiber, to neutralize the electronegativity of fiber, alkali, to create optimum pH in the dye bath. It is used as a fixing agent. Without it no dyeing will take place. Hydrolysis of reactive dyes. The reactive group of dyes may react with water as the increasing temperature, which is simply referred as hydrolysis. 35 to 40 percent dyes may go for wastage in this case. This is structure. Factors affecting dye hydrolysis. Liquor ratio. Longer liquor ratio increases hydrolysis and vice versa. Salt concentration. Higher salt concentration decrease hydrolysis up to a limit and vice versa. pH. Higher pH increases dye hydrolysis. Temperature. Higher temperature increases the hydrolysis of dyes. Dye reactivity. It increases both hydrolysis and fixation rate. Time. Higher dyeing time increases hydrolysis. Type and no of reactive dye. Vinyl sulfone is more prone to hydrolysis than triazinyl group. Prevention of dye hydrolysis. Application temperature should not be above 40 degrees Celsius. Relatively large amount of electrolytes are required for the exhaustion, otherwise dye hydrolysis will occur greatly in dye bath. Dye and alkali solution should be prepared separately and mixed just before using. Dye and alkali solution should not keep for long time after mixing. Application of reactive dyes. Reactive dyes are used in dyeing off. Cellulosic fiber, cotton, rayon, flax, etc. Protein fiber, wool, silk, etc. Polyamide fiber, nylons, polyester, etc. Stripping, to remove color from the fabric. Stripping of reactive dyes. Stripping becomes necessary when there is uneven dyeing. The reactive dye cannot be satisfactorily stripped from fiber due to covalent bond between dye molecules and fiber molecules. Stripping includes methods which remove azo N equals N group from the dye. For complete stripping the goods are first treated with sodium hydrosulfite, sodium sulfide O4, at boil. Then washed off and bleached with 1% sodium hypochlorite, NaOCl, at room temperature. This is carried out for 30 minutes. A typical recipe of stripping is given below. Na hypochlorite, 1% at room temperature. Na hydrosulfite at boil temperature. Time, 30 minutes. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comments. And subscribe this channel and also paste the bell icon to never miss an update.